What's up guys, David here, and the speed test I think we have all been waiting for is finally here with the brand new Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus going head to head with the current Fumble Style speed test champ in the iPhone 7 Plus. Taking a quick look at the spec sheet, you can see that we're testing the US variant of the S8 here, which packs a new Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 chip to go along with its 4 gigabytes of RAM. We'll be testing the international Exynos variant very soon, so make sure you subscribe for that. But with that said, let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, we'll kick things off by starting the stopwatches on each phone and then jump right into the first row of system apps, where thanks to its quicker animations, the S8 Plus takes the lead, already moving on to the second row. Now, the iPhone is taking longer than usual on the Facebook app, allowing the S8 Plus to pull even further ahead, with it now a full app in front of the iPhone early on in this speed test. But it looks like the iPhone has made up some ground here in Lapsit, with it not only loading the app faster, but processing the time lapse faster as well, with both phones now neck and neck as they move on to the gaming row. Where it looks like the iPhone 7 Plus is pulling ahead, with it finishing up with subway surfers and moving on to flip diving. But unlike its predecessors, the Galaxy S8 isn't completely falling apart here in the gaming row with it staying hot on the heels of the 7 Plus, not letting it get anywhere near the kind of separation we saw the iPhone 6S get last year against the Note 7. Which means that there's still a good chance that the S8 can make a comeback, with plenty of apps left here in the first lap, and the entire second lap left to go. So as the S8 is working on finishing the gaming row, the iPhone starts working on the last row, which is made up of lighter weight apps like Spotify and ESPN, allowing the iPhone to momentarily pull a full app ahead. And unfortunately for the Galaxy S8, it doesn't look like it's closing the gap here in the last row, with the iPhone finishing the first app with a time of 1 minute and 13 seconds, and the S8 falling a little bit further behind, even here with the lightweight apps. So we'll take a closer look at the individual app load up times at the end of the video, but for now, the S8 comes in 11 seconds later with a time of 1 minute and 24. As we've seen time and again, the iPhone 7 Plus is having no trouble keeping almost every app ready to go in the background, while the Galaxy S8 has to reload both Facebook and Snapchat. However, it looks like it managed to keep InShots and Lapsits open, but it fails to keep Subway Surfers open, allowing the iPhone to cruise to the finish line with a total time of 1 minute and 46 seconds. So we'll go ahead and fast forward the Galaxy S8 to the finish line, where it failed to keep both flip diving and stack ready to go, but it did manage to keep smash hit along with the rest of the apps open, clocking in a total time of 2 minutes and 23 seconds, making the winner and still Fumble Style Speed Test champ, the iPhone 7 Plus. Here are the individual app load up times from the first lap, where you can see where the S8 had the advantage at the beginning, and where the iPhone just completely took over after laps it, even in the lightweight apps at the end. Anyways, that is it for me in this video, thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the very next episode.